and I'm Brooke and this is Mornings, Mornings with Brittle. We are out here in our beautiful courtyard. It's a beautiful day with the same weather expected next week, which is awesome because we are having our Donald Lachlan putting tournament. That's right. So I was able to join Bob Kenworthy and Ed Kaminsky, and they shared a little bit more details about the annual event that we always enjoy uh, every year. And so why don't we take a look at what they had to say? Sounds good. I am excited that we are here with Bob Kenworthy and Ed Kaminsky. And we're going to take some time to learn more about our Donald Lachlan tournament. It is the 26th Donald Lachlan tournament here at Riddle Village. So Bob and Ed, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a really an important cause, the Donald Lachlan tournament, and we always like to bring to residents and potential residents information about this important event. So I would like to start with if both of you could just give a little feedback on what your responsibilities are. So we'll start with you, Bob. Okay. Well. I, I am this year's chair of the Lachlan Tournament. For several years before this, B.K. Roberts did that job, and B.K. didn't feel up to it uh, this year, so he asked me if I'd be willing to chair it, and I said, yeah, uh, as long as it just means making sure everything gets done and I don't have to do everything myself. Right, right. It takes a village, right? It takes a village. Yep. And, and what, what are your responsibilities? As a member of the golf committee, we have different assignments, and my assignment is to arrange the whole You're the one that makes things tricky and does the really hard downhill hole. <laughs> well, there will always be a downhill hole, yeah. no matter how the holes are arranged. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, I could make it a little bit difficult if I wanted to. Now, would one of you mind sharing a little bit about the Donald Lockwood tournament in general? What is what is the tournament in place for? Because it is something that benefits all of the residents that live in Riddle Village. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's in place primarily to raise money for the uh, endowment fund. Mm -hmm. And the endowment fund is the fund that we have here at River Village that uh, supports residents who outlive their assets. You know, if they don't have the cash it takes to continue to live here, the endowment fund covers the, the difference. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so no one has to worry about being thrown out if for some reason they are unable to uh, to make their payments. And I think it's important to mention that this tournament has been so successful over the 20, 20 going on 26 years. I mean, I think it's been consistently um, over $30,000 a year that this tournament has raised for our residents, which is really, really wonderful. Now, Ed, you had mentioned that you really handle all the things as far as um, the layout of the course goes. Um, I know you can't share how things are going to be distributed. But um, as far as feedback for our residents coming in that may be competing, is there anything they should know about how the um, the day will go for them? Well, we have, what is it, 40 some golfers? Wow. 43. Wow, 43 very golfers. Nice. Uh, starts at 9 o'clock on Monday. Okay. It goes to, I think, 12.35 was the last one I saw. Okay. Okay. Um, takes about five minutes to seven minutes to go around the course for one person. So you might have two to three, probably maybe even four at one time golfers on the course, but we try to stay out of each other's way the way the course is arranged. Come out and practice and pay attention to the one and two footers. <laughs> <laughs> Little hint there, guys. Um, now, Bob, I know that you were very involved with the scheduling, so would you mind just giving us a glimpse of the what next week looks like? everybody golfs. Right. We golf until we're done. Right. Everybody gets a chance. <laughs> everybody gets a chance. Right? Okay. Tuesday, it, it's a, a tournament between the top, or among the top eight men and the top eight women. To whittle it down, you know, eight goes to four, goes to two, goes to one. Right. Uh, by the end of the day on Tuesday, we will have established who the champion is. And one addition to that is the first, the, the qualifying, the quarter and the semi-final matches are all nine holes. Okay. The final match is 18 holes. Oh, okay. That is a good twist. So so if it gets really hot and sticky, that final match could be an endurance contest. Of course it would be, <laughs> I would imagine, 18 holes. So um, I know not everybody are 
and everybody here are golf golfers, which is totally fine. There's other ways to participate, and one of the other big parts of the fundraising program is the dinner that everybody looks forward to. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about that dinner as well? Sure. The, the dinner is an awards banquet for the, for the golf, but it's also uh, a, a way of highlighting the contribution that Don Laughlin made in getting this whole thing started. Right you know, right from the very beginning, 30 years ago. So, uh, and it's in his name. It's uh, a grand party, okay? It's always a good time. It's a, always a good time. <laughs> uh, you will be overfed again, and just like uh, we always are here. Yeah, the culinary really team's good, good at that, right? <laughs> culinary team's very good at that. Yeah. And, and we'll we'll pass out the golf prizes, but there'll also be door prizes. And generally, it's just a, an excuse for a really good party uh, at this time of year. Hey, any time to have a party is a good time at Riddle Village. Right. Right. Yeah, it's all taking place in the town hall, which is the most used building or room in the building. Right? It, it's, it's certainly a multi-use room for sure. Is there anything else that our viewers should know before next week? The uh, weatherman seems to be cooperating. Okay, so there may not be a need for a rain date then. There's Let's not a need fingers for a rain crossed, date. right? And and the other thing is they, they, there is a program for the dinner in which the donors it's fundraising. So, so there are donors, both uh, resident donors and uh, uh, contractor donors. Pe people who do business with Riddle Village have also contributed to, to the money we raise here. Right. There's still an opportunity to contribute if you haven't contributed. You just won't get your name in the program. That's okay. So it's still a good cause. So we certainly encourage cause. you, if you haven't yet, to look into contributing. Well, I really appreciate you guys joining us today. So next week we will be doing lots of videos and pictures so we can do a little recap next week. And we can't wait to see who 2024 winners are going to be. Well, thank you. Thank sure. you guys. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks again. It is going to be such a fun tournament next week. They mm -hmm. are set, ready. It sounds like the course is going to be a little bit challenging if yep. Ed has anything to do with it. <laughs> yep. It's definitely a, a resident favorite here at Riddle Village. Mm -hmm. And what's great is whether you're putting or if you just want to come out and cheer on your neighbors, there'll be plenty of spectator seating and um, light refreshments. So it'll be great for all residents here. And most importantly, it goes to a wonderful cause. So make sure you mark your calendars and join us next week for the Donald Lachlan Tournament. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye, everybody.